So we're going to do Whoopi's video in her cage because she just got here earlier this week. She was a, found as a stray. Um, and whenever I take her out, she seems to be afraid. But when she's in her cage, she's the most loving, sweetest thing. So she's still scared about being here. Um, and she feels safe in here. So we'll just do her video here until I can... Until she feels... <laughs> She's got little fangs. So she feels more comfortable being out and about. Um, but I didn't want you to miss out on her because look at her. She um, had a home at one time because she is already spayed and declawed. I think it's just front declawed, but I'll double check. I think it's front, but anyway. Um, she is declawed and already spayed. Um, I'll have to find out her age, maybe a few years old. But um, she came here, poor thing, full of fleas. So right now she's got some scabs on her still. She was... Um, obviously treated for fleas, so, um, but she could still a little scabby, I can feel them, poor thing. But she may have been out on her own for a while, you know, maybe all summer. Um, she's a little thin, too. Poor thing, I mean, you wonder what their story is, you know? I mean, because look at this cat. She is so, that's why I wanted to do her video, even though I can't get her out of the cage, because um, when, you, when I come in the cat room here, um, she talks to me all the time and sticks her foot out of the cage. I'm like, oh my gosh. You're so friendly, but when I try and take her out, then she kind of gets a little scared. So we're just going to stay inside. Look at her beautiful little panther face. She's a little girl, kind of a, kind of a petite, medium-sized cat. She's got really cute gold eyes, goldish green. She's extremely friendly. Oh my god, look how loving she is. Especially being scared, and she's still this loving. Can you imagine what she would be like in your home? I mean, she would just flourish in a home setting. She'd just be such a... She's one of them cats, I think, that likes to be the center of attention. You know, I mean, she's a talker. She's really loving, um, outgoing. I really think she'd be a wonderful cat for somebody that wants a cat like that. I mean, she's not going to be one of those shy cats that hide under the bed when people come over. I think she's going to be an outgoing <laughs> little girl. She just has to get used to being here, but I... Um, but I don't want her to miss out and somebody might see her. I know it's really hard, super, super hard to get adult black cats adopted. I can't even get black kittens adopted, but, but hopefully somebody will watch her video and just see what a sweetheart she is. And, you know, like I said, I feel bad. You know, one time she was in a home and now look at her. She's in a cage in a vet's office full of flea bites. Not fair. She didn't do anything wrong. She didn't do anything wrong. She just wants somebody to love. <laughs> You're just a little sweetie, Whoopi. We named they named her Whoopi. I'm not sure why. You are. She's just purring, 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 purring. <laughs> She's so cute. She's got little fangs. Well, I'm gonna try and get a couple of pictures of her. Oh, do what? Can I put a little bow on you? I wonder if I can put a little bow on her. That kind of gets people maybe to notice him a little better. Okay, Whoopi. I'll be right back with a bow. You stay here. Look at her little fangs. She's so cute. Okay. I gotta go. Otherwise, I could film you forever. Oh, you want some more wet food? Okay, I'll bring some back. 